Yeah, we want to study if the chemicals in the swimming pool can be toxic for humans. We know in the swimming pool water we found hundreds of chemicals. They are known as disinfection byproducts and they are formed by the reaction of chlorine and the organic matter in the water. And some of these compounds, they are volatile and go into the air. So when we swim in the swimming pool, we are exposed to these compounds through inhalation for some of them, by dermal absorption and also accidental ingestion as well. Today we are starting the field work with the first four volunteers. So they come here to the swimming pool, but first of all, we collect them urine, blood and exhaled breath. Then they come here in the indoor chlorinated swimming pool and they swim for 40 minutes. And after that they come back and we collect again urine, blood and exhaled breath. So we want to see if the chemicals in the exhaled breath and urine increases after this exposure and if the increases is related to the biomarkers of effect that we will measure in blood of this subject. We did a previous study with a similar design in 50 volunteers and then we found there we find an increase, and a small increase in a genotoxicity biomarker that was quite preoccupying and surprising. So now within this huge European project, which is Exposomics, we want to replicate our first study, but now with 100 uh, participants to see if we find the same effect. And we have also improved the exposure assessment of the chemicals here in the swimming pool, and maybe we'll be able to see which is the specific chemical responsible for, for these effects. We are also measuring several omics in, in the blood of these participants before and different times after swimming. So this will help us to understand the biological mechanism of this toxicity of the disinfection by products. Now we are measuring the health effects of the chemical exposure in the swimming pool, but we know that going to the swimming pool is a healthy activity. So the benefits for health are higher than the, the chemical risk. But we don't know much about this chemical risk, so that's why we have to study uh, in, in, this type of, in this type of projects. And if there is really some risk, then we can do something. We can decrease these chemicals in the swimming pools by different ways. For example, uh, doing a good management of the swimming pool, but also keeping a good ventilation. And also swimmers can do something, for example, going uh, to the toilet and taking a shower before going into the swimming pool, it helps.